Guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack and this is my YouTube channel, Life in Motion. Now behind me is the Audi Q4 e-tron and today I'm asking a very simple question. If you're looking for a new electric car, should you buy the Audi Q4 e-tron? I'm gonna go around the outside, go on the inside, go for a drive and talk numbers in the hope that I can answer that question. Also a massive thank you to Lookers Audi in Basingstoke for lending me this car for the afternoon. Right, let's go. So starting with the outside, the Q4 looks really trendy. As electric vehicles go, it is a good looking car. It follows the same silhouette, the same design as the Audi Q range, but it has got this enclosed single frame grille like you'll see on many of the other Audis. The nice thing about this is it is enclosed, helping the efficiency, it doesn't have to cool the engine and radiators, but it does look really, really smart. Whilst we're at the front, I've always loved Audi's light designs on the outside and on the inside. At the front here, we've got LED lights with LED running lights, and at the back, I'll show you that in a moment. And as we go to the side of the car, you've got the upgraded S-Line wheels on this particular car, and you've also got the two-tone bodywork, which I think looks really smart. One thing to note on the Q4 e-tron is that it has two different body styles. We've got the SUV shape, which we've got today, and you've also got the Sportback, which is really becoming ever popular. It's more of a coupe looking design. It's very, very cool. As we move to the back of the car, we are treated with this dramatic LED light strip at the back. Now, this is part of the optional Matrix beam package, and I think, yeah, I think it's worth it. I think it looks so good. I love bright lights on cars and this looks brilliant. And following on from the lights, I think it looks really smart. I think the car is a good looking SUV. At the back, we've got a nice shape to it. It's got nice curves and it's been redesigned nicely. So it's not exactly like, you know, the Q5s and Q3s. It's got its own particular silhouette to it, which is good. And before we jump onto the inside, this is the S line. So it's the step up from the base trim, which is the Sport. The S line gives you 20 inch alloys, privacy glass as standard and a different styling kit. If you jump up to the top range model, the Versprung, you'll get slightly bigger wheels, you'll get a panoramic sunroof as standard and a head-up display and a whole host of other options. Right, let's jump in and have a look. As you jump into the Q4 e-tron, you're instantly greeted with these lovely sports seats with the integrated headrest and S-Line Emboss logo. Looking ahead of you, you've got the 10.25 inch display unit called the Virtual Cockpit, which is one of, if not the best virtual cockpits out there. But you've also got a secondary 10 inch display screen in the middle for things like your radio, your media, and your navigation, should you choose it. The virtual cockpit and 10 inch touchscreen in the middle are super easy to use. And once you set your phone up, one of the best features is that when you jump into your car, you don't have to connect the phone for CarPlay or Android Auto. It instantly does it for you, and that is such a lifesaver. One thing to mention is this lovely steering wheel. It's flat at the top and at the bottom, and it makes it a lot, lot easier on the move, and I'll show you that a little bit later. You've also got nice touch sensitive buttons on the screen which help you with the virtual cockpit and with things like changing the radio and the station. As you look further down to the middle you've got your temperature controls. Now fortunately these are actually buttons and that means that you can keep your eyes focused on the road while you're changing the fan, the temperature. You've also got your radio controls and you've got your hazard lights. One thing to also mention is you've got your drive select button. Now when Audi's well, drive select is a way of setting up the car for so things like a dynamic, efficiency, comfort mode, just depends on how you want to drive the car. Now below that is a really nice unique storage gubbin, which goes really far down and also has two points to charge your phone by the USB-C ports in there. You've also got a 12 volt socket and you can actually have a little clip there you can put your phone in and clip it there so it doesn't rattle around. You've got two centrally placed cup holders and you've also got another gubbin in the middle to put your bits and bobs in. You've got a nice little glove box just down here. You've also got gubbins in the door as well. So you've got plenty of storage space. And as we jump into the back of the Q4, you've got space for three more people. You've got lots of headroom and a lot of legroom, which I was really surprised about. Because this is an electric car, it hasn't got the traditional drivetrain that you would normally see in a petrol or diesel car. So we've got a basically flat low bed in the middle, which is nice for your passengers sitting in the middle. You've also got air conditioning controls, and again, two more USB-C charging ports in the back for your phones and your iPods and all that kind of stuff. 
You're not lacking for space either. In both doors, you've got a large gubbin at the bottom, and you've also got what I guess is like a little cup holder you can put in there. For if you've got a water bottle or anything like that, you can pop that in there. One thing to mention is the Q4 now is available with a Sonos sound system. Yeah, Sonos, I thought the same. I've got a Sonos thing in my house, and so they've now got that technology in the cars, which is brilliant. It's not a base standard, it has to be an optional extra, but you know what, give it a go, because it is a really good system. I heard it on another car, it's proper. And so as we move to the back of the car, with two clicks on the key, it opens the automated tailgate and exposes you to 520 litres of storage space. That's plenty. You can put the dog in here, put the suitcases, put all the kids stuff, you can put the lot. What you can do though is put the back seats down if you want to have a little bit extra space. If you popped a B&Q and bought a shed and haven't told your other half, you can do that. There's plenty of space. So we've looked around the outside and we've looked around the inside and I think it's about time we jump in this car and see what it's like on the move. Back to your bedroom. So guys, we are underway in the Q4 e-tron and let's talk about numbers. So this particular car, the 40 variation, has a 76.6 kilowatt hour battery, producing 204 PS and a range of 316 miles, which let's be honest, on an average commute in the UK of 20 miles, that's plenty. And overnight you can charge that using your three pin plug at home and you can charge that overnight and in the morning it'll be fully charged. If you want to go for the slightly smaller 35 output engine, that's a 51 kilowatt hour battery, producing 170 PS and over 208 miles of range. If you want to go for something a little bit more sporty, then perhaps the e-tron 50 is the one for you. That gives you 299 PS, 460 newton meters of torque, and just under around 300 miles of range on a full tank. Now this particular Q4 e-tron, the 40, has a 125 kilowatt capacity, which means you can charge it from 5% to 80 in 38 minutes in one of those rapid chargers like you'd get at a service station or at the supermarket. Now while we're talking numbers, one number to note is that this car, the S-Line with the 40 on the base trim, starts from 46,375 pounds. Right, I'm gonna engage a bit of speed because this car, the 40 with the seven point, ooh, wow. Hey, that's not bad. So in this car, which is the Audi Q4 e-tron 40 with the 76.6 kilowatt battery, it goes from naught to 62 in eight and a half seconds. It's not too fast, but it's not too slow. And actually the big vibe I'm getting with this car is that it's a super comfortable car to use every day. It's not making me want to you know, drive it a million miles an hour because I'm really comfortable, I'm really enjoying it. I'm nice and high up, super smooth, it's super quiet. The sound system, as standard, is brilliant. All the screens are really easy to use. I don't want to go fast, I just want to enjoy it. It's really nice. So guys, there are a huge amount of electric vehicles on sale today. And so it's very difficult to decide which one should I go for, what's the best, what should I avoid? It's very difficult to answer that question. It's all subjective. So from what I can tell you safely is if you were to order or buy a new or used Audi Q4 e-tron, I don't think you'd be disappointed. It's spacious, it's comfortable, it's easy to use, it's got a good range. And for most people doing the normal average day-to-day -day commute, it will be perfect. Now guys, one thing I wanna mention again is a huge thank you to Lucas Audi Basingstoke who lent me this car for the afternoon. Those guys sell used and new cars and do services, so make sure to pop down to Lucas Audi in Basingstoke if you wanna check out a new or used car. Now when you're driving around town, it's making this kind of weird buzzy sound, which is really cool. Now I've not personally had a huge amount of experience in electric cars, but yeah, it's making this kind of buzz and it's quite cool. As you can hear it outside, so obviously when you get at slower speeds, people keep safe, you don't have to walk in front of you and, and you know, you're gonna hit someone. But it just sounds really cool. It just sounds like a little Jetson kind of like weird spaceship, it's awesome. Now one thing about this car is it is full of tech. And that's a great thing, but also you don't want it to be distracting. Now fortunately in this car, it's got the virtual cockpit and it's got the virtual head up display, which means that I can keep my speed and my eyes on the road in front of me so I know how fast I'm going. I don't have to look down or look to the side. 
Also, when I'm getting a little bit hot or cold, I can turn up and down the temperature in the middle using the manual controls. Again, I don't have to keep my eyes and looking down, I can keep them on the road. I used to sell Audis years and years ago, and so I know how the Q3, Q5, the Q7, they all drive. And roughly, they have a very similar quality. They are very, very nice to drive. But one thing about this car, which is instantly significant to me, is it drives so smoothly and it's so quiet. I don't have to shout. My Cayman that I drive personally is so loud, whereas this car is super quiet and it's super relaxing. And that's the vibe I'm getting from this car, is that it's just a relaxing place to be. But this steering wheel, it's brilliant. It's flat at the top and at the bottom, and it's just made driving this car a, such a subtle way, but so different. And it's just been so easy to drive. So it sounds really silly, but when you're driving normally, you've got your hands at the kind of the sides or, or 10 and two, however you like to drive, but it's nice and casual. If you are the one that likes to drive with one hand at the top, because it's flat, it's very ergonomic. It's really easy to sit there and drive like that. But then when you are turning the corner, oh my word, it is just so easy just to turn it. It makes it so much quicker. Now, one thing to note about Audi's Q4 e-tron is that it's pioneering Audi's augmented reality display. What it means is that it gives you information in front of you using sensors at the front of the car and the sign, I'm sure all over, to give you advanced features to help you keep nice and safe. What I've noticed when I've been driving is that when I've ever got close to the line or I've been turning a corner, a little display will light up in front of me on the heads up display and give me a little curve so I can just see that the road turns to the left or the right. One subtle thing has just, just really helped. So guys, that's been the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I've loved driving this Audi Q4 e-tron. The first ever experience of an electric car for me. Yes, I've driven lots of different cars before, but never one like this. And I've absolutely loved it. I hope you guys also answer some questions for you, like is the Q4 the car for me? Is it good on the inside? Is it nice on the outside? What's it like to drive? Also, a big, big thanks to Lucas Audi based Oak. Again, they've been fantastic at letting me have this car for the day. So if you are looking for a new car or a used car, make sure to give them a call because they'll be really happy to help. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to see plenty more videos like this to come. But for now, I'll see you soon. I've got the time.